Here we are with a, another C8 meet and greet in Brownwood Market Square in the Villages, Florida. And uh, let's take a look from up above first and show you a little bit. That's I think that's 44, 41, 44 over on the left. And uh, Nahash Chevrolet is out there also. You're looking at part of Brownwood. And this is Brownwood Market Square. The Market Square in Brownwood, out of the Villages, Florida. Two J's on the left. And the market is buried in there with all those buildings and uh, all those cars. It's uh, quite a busy place on a Saturday morning. There's a lot of great market items that you can buy over there. It's really pretty good. I, I, I really like it and a lot of people go to it and really enjoy it. So we're going to take the drone down now and land it. So I thought we'd give you a little sky eye view. Uh, before we get into today's session. In today's uh, session, we've had a lot of cars coming in and out. There's about 15 or 20 cars there all at once, but um, we had a lot of people coming and going with the C8 Corvettes. And I uh, thought I'd give you a little view here of what the cars look like. And uh, let me just pan around here and we'll give you a look at the cars in the parking lot at one particular time. But like I say, the cars coming and going all day. Now, what I did was I asked a lot of people, I think about 13 people, I asked them the big question, how is GM doing with the rollout of the new Z06 Corvette? How's GM done with the rollout of the new C8 Corvette? And so here are about 13 replies for your listening pleasure. And they're pretty good answers. Where do you hear them? It seems to be following the pattern of the rollout of the C8 in general, and that they're uh, they're finding it hard to deliver on what they told us originally was going to be allocations. Now, do you think it's uh, parts or engine, or is there any one gremlin, or is it a bunch? I think it's all of those things. All of those things. You know, you've got a demand there that they could sell as many as they could possibly. If they could stop making regular. C8 Stingrays and just start making Z06s and not run out of demand. So it's a great place for a manufacturer to be in. You know, you got you got an incredible demand, a short supply, and everybody understands that there's a problem, so they're willing to pay well above manufacturers suggested to get one, to be the first on their block to have one. Mike from Village Vets Corvette Club. This guy, I, he knows I'm not going to... He, he didn't know I was going to say this, but this guy does yeoman work for the club. I've never seen a guy work so hard for the club, and I, I'm sure I speak for all the club members when I say thank you for all your hard work. You and Jim you. do a great job uh, for the club, and thanks so much for what you do. Well, thank you. Now, listen, uh, the Z06 is a talk right now, and everybody's talking about uh, the new Z06. Um, the rollout's been so rough. They've had some problems. Uh, what's your impression of what's going on? Is it is it a is it a uh, the engine or is it a whole bunch of stuff? What's going on? Oh, I think it's a combination of many things, but basically, uh, I think you know supply, demand, and you know, etc. But just uh, I think they have a PR disaster. I just I don't think GM is taking an initiative to go ahead and you know try to rectify the problem or at least put something out there that makes uh, all these buyers you know confident in as far as what you know making the, the cars available. Uh, I mean, uh, some of these deals like pricing these things way above what they're supposed to be. You know, the GM can control that, but apparently they, they opt not to do it. Mike Kendall, and he's from the Village Vets Corvette Club, and he has not your ordinary uh, Corvette. This is an official pace car that I remember when this came out, and everybody was begging to have one, but you got one. Yeah, I bought it uh, over 25 years ago. Uh, the pace car is a limited edition 6502 were made in commemoration of the 25th um, anniversary of the Corvette. It was the pace car for the Indy 500 that year. Each dealer throughout the country got one. one. Yeah. Yeah. And I was fortunate enough to pick up one. It was originally from Iowa and um, I've had it for quite some time. Did some restoring and uh, I love it. It's a beautiful car. Are you uh, at all uh, paying attention to the new Z06 rollout? And if you are, I see there's a lot of problems they're having, and uh, I'd like to get your feedback on what you think's going on with General Motors in the new Z06. 
I really don't have any comments about that. I know they're trying their best to get the car out. There's a big waiting list for the new Z06. It'll probably flood the market with the traditional C8s. And maybe I'll bring it down to a price that I can afford and I'll step into one of those. Well, first of all, I attended the Corvette Bash at the museum in April of this year, which was is really a Z06 marketing event. Saw multiple Z06s, multiple versions of them. Now, these were all developmental cars that were going to be trashed at one point or the other. Uh, they did not give any information on when they were going to produce them or the pricing. I've since seen pricing numbers, but have no idea if they're official from GM or not. Um, we've ordered a Z06, had not intended to do that, but when we were up in Bowling Green, uh, talked to Greg Waldron, who's the director of the track up there, and he said he had no special knowledge, but he was of the personal opinion that the Z06 would be the last all-gas-powered Corvette. And given that, we said, okay, then maybe it's time to get back on the Z06 list, which we are with Naha Chevrolet. I have no idea when we're going to see that car. Probably years out. We waited 607 days for this one to come in. 607? That's more than I waited. <laughs> yeah. I think we hold the record for that. I think you do. Yeah. <laughs> September 9th of 2019, and then we picked up delivery May 8th at the Corvette Museum at 21 for this car. Well, basically, what rollout? They've had so much problems with this rolling out of this Corvette. I think the Corvette I got behind me is just as good. I think you're probably right. Any other thoughts on that? Well, this is my eighth Corvette, and uh, I always thought about a Z06. I had two pace cars in the past, and uh, just can't see it unless you're really into racing and you go to the track. I don't think it's necessary to own a Z06. I'm sure it'll be an awesome car. A matter of fact, I remember going to the Corvette Museum five years ago, and uh, there was several mid-engine Corvettes back in the day, but they finally produced one, and I think this one is just as good. Well, I think, I think you have to be impressed and happy with the fact that they're trying to get it right. They certainly took their time in R&D and testing with the C8 rollout to begin with. This is a 20 behind me, and I haven't had two seconds of a problem with it. It's absolutely been rock solid. No, um, no recalls have affected the car, and every now and then the computer logs on to the mothership and gets an update, and and and, and life goes on. The rollout of this of that of that C8 Z06 is, is huge. It's super exciting because it takes it into a whole new supercar dimension at a reasonably affordable price, from what we're being told. Um, I have a I have a C6 Z06 back in Baltimore, which has been has become a full-blown race car i can't say enough about it or the the engine and um i'm sure that when the new c8 z06 hits the market it's going to be a huge performer all right tell me about your little clever thing you have on the front of your windshield. I can't take all the credit for it. I actually saw it on YouTube, but what it is, it's very simple. It's a red piece of paper, slide it in there, and you're done. It looks like you painted it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks that's great. That's clever. Oh, that's and, really clever. And now I'm and just... Car, I like your stripes. Well, thank you. I'm waiting, everything looks good. I'm waiting to get some edge red paint to match the stripe so I can do what you did on the license plate. Oh, down on the... Yeah, uh, down there. Yes. Okay. I want to get this color because I also have a caliper that matches that. Okay. So you want to get the color. Yeah, it's right. good. Good idea. Good idea. So listen, the big question today is what do you think about the new Z06 rollout? What's going on? I think it's great, and I think like uh, what Bill said about how they're not rushing anything, they want to make it right. I know they're going to have problems like they did with the C8, but geez, it's going to be some kind of car. And everything they've said about it, if, if half of it's true, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I don't think anybody knows. Every day on the C8 forum and, and news and stuff from GM, they keep coming out with something different. Stopping this, starting this, gonna start, you know, allocating to the dealers in a different way, and I don't think anybody knows. Pretty crazy. 
Yeah, it's real crazy. Frustrating for the ones that have put their deposits down. Yeah, very frustrating. Ask me about it. Yeah. Okay, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You don't have any... No, idea? nothing. No. Any idea. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But I guess it's, you know, they got reasons. I'm sure, and I'm, I got a sneaky suspicion it's going to be worth the wait, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like this one. I waited 520 days for this. Oh, Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Good, good. Your car, your car looks terrific. Oh, thank you. Um, you've done a lot of nice things to it. And uh, I'm, let me just take a look at the engine here quick before I go on. This looks really great. Nicely done. Thank you. And for convertibles especially, it, it look, just looks terrific. Um, Question of the day going around here today is the new Z06 rollout, and uh, they seem to have some problems. <laughs> and what do you think's going on with all of that? Well, the, the constraints are certainly holding it up. It's been a car that everybody's desired for quite a while now, and they just keep putting it off and putting it off. And so, who knows when we're going to get them? Um, my personal opinion about having a Z06, I think it's a lot of car for the average Corvette driver who doesn't track it. For us old retired guys, we don't have to go around the roundabouts at 90 miles an hour. Uh, so I, I just think it's too much car. Uh, it's great if you just want to show it and put it in the garage and maybe track it once in a while, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with a regular Stingray. Uh, no, I don't blame you, and a lot of other people will be very happy to be uh, have the keys of this car right here, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you know, I've got one for sale, a uh, brand new one, 23, <laughs> with nine miles on it sitting in my garage. Oh, wow. Yeah, look on the website. It, it's on the uh, tell me what the website is. We'll have them go to it. Uh, the uh, Village Vets website. Okay. Okay, our club uh, website. It's right on there with all the information on it and stuff like that. So uh, it's got nine miles on it, free title. Uh, it's clear. So come and get it. Okay, so people that I know that have placed orders, they're all disappointed uh, to the point where some of them are giving up on, on even wanting to purchase the new car. Uh, some of the guys I talked to, uh, it's not so much the price, it's about the delays, and they don't know if it's if, if it's going to be a 23 or 24, and so that's kind of where, what I'm hearing from people. Uh, and at GM and the assembly plant, I don't think they can handle the load that, of the orders that they're getting, and I don't know how they, they're even managing it. I, I did hear that I thought one was rolling off the assembly line this week for a customer, so that person might be lucky, but I don't know why so many constraints and, and delays, but uh, a lot of people are getting turned off on it, and I think that's the biggest issue is supply and demand, and they just can't get the car. Well, um, really, my thoughts are, why even wait for the Z06? Just get the regular Stingray C8. You don't need the Z06. Good point. Unless you're tracking the car, you really don't need it, I don't think. Exactly. And you're paying a whole lot more money for it. These are fast enough, and we can't drive them the speed that they can go, or we're going to get in trouble. I would go with one of these. You'll be happy, and you can put some money back in your pocket. Oh, I like that, Bob. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Many thanks to all who let me interview them today. That was really nice of you to do that, and it helps the channel. And if any of you would like to help out the channel a little bit, three things you can do and they're all free. You can subscribe, you can like, hit the like button, and you can also leave a comment. Those three things are very, very helpful to those of us that do these videos. So thanks again for watching and we will see you again on the next video.